this is an old game, oldie but goldie. Um, I haven't, I've never finished all of it, but I, I have done the first season. And I felt like I should do this playthrough because uh, I really don't have a, any answers for that. <laughs> I just really liked the first season. That would be a pretty fun thing to do. See what choices I make. and If you guys watch, you can tell me uh, on the comments and stuff. like What choices you all would have made different from mine and uh, everything else. But... Uh, yeah, let's get started. This is Telltales to the Walking Dead. New game. <laughs> ah, we're gonna go standard. Uh, I do have all of them. And the uh, 400 days. I'm gonna play the episodes down, then I'll play 100 day, or 400 days after. Uh, I also have season 2 and season all of them to the final season. I also have Michonne's. I'll play Michonne's after I finish. I, I might play Michonne's sometime. I also have the New Frontier. I'll play that as well. I'll play the New Frontier before I finish, though. But either way, let's get started. I'm also going to do this series, uh, I'm going to try to do it uh, episode by episode, that way it's not super long, but it, it could be long, uh, I really don't remember how long the episodes are, but let's get it. Don't you look at me. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Uh, why do you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Uh, and what do you say? And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Okay then, that was a nice conversation. I followed your case a little bit, you being a Macon boy and all. Oh, so he's from Macon? You're from Macon, then. Yep, came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case, like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect, a real shame that is. What? Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Are you having a seizure? Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention, and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? I don't like you to talk know about how my I wife. See it? Sure. Sure. Regardless. Could be you just married the wrong woman. I'm not gonna say anything. <sighs> Alright, I'm just gonna growl at him. driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. 
He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. <laughs> uh, so did he do it? So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing <laughs> his wife, cutting her up fucker. as the boys came I through the know. door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little uh, bit less depressing buddy, and buddy, a bit more buddy, hilarious buddy, 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 if buddy. I do say so. Oh, no! This other time... <laughs> Ever in the back seat of a police car, tell them to put the fucking seatbelt on me. Whoa. Just in case something like that happens. Not the zombie part, but the wreck. I don't want to flop around in the back seat. But <laughs> My leg! Uh, fuck! My leg! <laughs> there he is! Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Maybe he's halfway. Hey, the shotgun! Why the hell did he have his gun out? Why did he have his gun out? Oh, hey yep. Uh, hey yep. Uh, hey yep. Uh, hey yep. Uh, gotcha. I need to drag myself out that window. Well, I'm trying, brother. Uh, uh, I don't know if you've all ever busted. Well, I haven't busted out of the back of a police car, but I don't know if you ever busted out a window. The, the top uh, part doesn't stay like that. Ah, let's get on down there. Oi, bruv! Mind if I take your shotgun? Give me, give me this, give me this, give me this, give me this. Give me this. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Yeah, well, you know, yeah, whatever. Ooh, shotgun shells. Put it in your pocket. Hey, buddy. Officer? I'm just gonna take a peek, if that's okay. Oh. Uh, please, whatever you do, don't take a little nibble at my fingers. Should probably back away before I do this again. Can I? I can't move. It's okay, see? Bro, oh, it's not okay. Holy shit! 
Get away from me, shotgun, brother. What the hell are you? Give me the shotgun, give me the shotgun. Don't Say hello to this. my little friend. Come on. Anybody up there? Help! What's this? I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. You can't drink on the job. I'll go open the door, I guess. Oop, watch out for the pool. Hello, is anybody home? Hello, anybody home? I need a little help. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? an intruder or one of them oh there's blood over there so I'm gonna guess there's more help than I do there's blood over there so I'm gonna guess there's a Zamboni in here what's this oh dude a horse with a horn who draws something like that Overturned blood everywhere. Jesus. Jesus. Three new 
messages. Message 1, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking <laughs> after weird. Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. <laughs> Message 2, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. Whoa. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Marietta. I'm, I'm gonna get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Uh, that's good. Message three. Let's get six. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. You love you. We love you. We love you. Daddy? Huh? Who said that? Was it you? Hello? You need to be quiet. You called me first. I'm not a monster. Good. Where are you? I should have said that. Wasn't that one of the options? Uh, what What's I your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where Where are you? you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Hey, how's it going? What is it? stove, lady. Did you Sorry, kill it? Sorry I had to see that, miss. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I well, think that might be a little while. You know? Not. Oh. Look. I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Look for help. Or get out of here once the sun goes down. Uh, let's look for help before it gets dark. I don't want to be out here with... We need to find help before it gets dark. I don't want to be out here with Zambonis. Yeah, it's not safe at night. At night. Let's go. Stay close to me. I wanted to get a drink of water. That's what I first went after, and then the cutscene happened. 
that she tried to sex me up. Getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Like what, what? What kind of hot dish? What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Why is the house not safe? Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? Yeah. You could say that. Was that stinky, I'm Pete? Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. I mean, Let's technically, I am now. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I. Your monsters come out. You gotta go. Stinky. Oh, no, it's not stinky bait. Leave him quick. Let's go. As babysitters go, I'd say her parents owe you a tip. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. Yeah, Chad. It was nice to meet you both. Peace, dude. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Yeah. Yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Hey, sure thing, brother. 
brother. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. <laughs> that's, that's not my leg, sir. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Hersh. How'd this happen? I... Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? I'm just gonna be straight up. Just uh, out for a drive. Ah, uh, well, that's just out, out of Atlanta. You hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about on the road. Who are you with, the girl? I Wait, was with sure. a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um. Looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, yeah. I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? I... Towards making, I suppose. Okay. All right, then. Let's go take a nap in the barn. It smells like... Uh, yeah. I know what it smells like. Duty. <laughs> Duty. I miss my mom and dad. Yeah, me too. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Where the other three you? Does it, does it tell what happened to his wife? Hey, get up. Don't you tell me what to do, brother. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, I'm uh, not her dad. Name's I'm Lee. Your daddy. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're gonna build a fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! <laughs> but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. <laughs> the word is, you were on your way to Macon. Well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and... Personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, 
Gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Doc, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. Buddy. On the tractor? Cool! Duck Kimbo here. Team. Kimbo here just said that boy's dumb on a box of rocks. I can keep an eye on your little rocks. girl here on the porch. We can visit. I can let him sit on your tractor? Alright. Oh, sorry. Bag of hammers, whatever. Same thing. Alright. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, back here. I see him. Oh, I have to go check with everyone I've met so far? Okay. Seems like those two are getting along. Yeah. Let's go talk to Kimbo. Hey, brother. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Buddy, that almost looks like a Toyota Tacoma or a little Nissan. That's uh, pretty good. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah. No, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Huh, okay. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. Uh, we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. Let's go over here. Hey, how's it going? You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. All right. Hey there, girls. So, uh... What do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. You two actually look relaxed. I, I think we're guess. doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. Yeah, stupid. So, you good? <laughs> anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I yeah, want fine. to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Yeah, Your maybe. optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Peace out. 
Let's go back here and work on the fence with the tractor filler. Sod it. How you doing, Doug? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Hey, Lee. Uh, need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Buddy, let me tell you. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I bashed a poor girl's brain to him. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just oh, you meant before or after Dad the Dad just song. wants to keep the family so, safe sorry. and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. <laughs> How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Good. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Alright. Peace out! How was that, brother? <laughs> okay. <laughs> How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Me too. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Yeah, sure, brother. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. <laughs> he killed him. Go! I'll get my gun. Yeah, help, Kitty! Help, Kitty! 
Stitch you up. It almost, it almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. I know, son. I. Uh... Yay! Son of a biatch. Was I supposed to try to pull him out? I don't. <laughs> Is he supposed to die? Okay. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. That is true, Kenny. You can't blame Kenny. The I should have said that. Can't. You watch your back. We can kill us your daughter, and you need his help. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Damn. Kitty, you fucked up for all of us. You've got that to... ride to make it if you want it. Y'all gonna turn that tractor off or get buried. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. We got a few? Drugs. I love drugs. I got some loot! Who's that? Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Oh no! Dude. Fuck! We're <laughs> trapped! <laughs> get him! Yeah, get him! Yeah. Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I I have to pee. <laughs> I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy I didn't know he was going to say the, the second part. Bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. <laughs> yeah. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? 
We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. Boy, We can figure boy. this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> Oh goodness, Jesus! Oh, Why he always You okay? Yeah. Just great, thanks. You trying to touch my goodies? Uh, guys? Uh, Everybody down! Stay quiet! They're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? I don't know. Oh God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh. Now he's having a heart attack. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there, behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance, maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. 
Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Uh, this has been long. Um, I'm gonna have to cut it off right here. And uh, I'll start it right back up. And uh, catch up on the rest of episode one. Alright. Hope you guys have a good one. And uh, as always, suck it. Yeah.